when I shoot steel targets at long range, I want to know two things. One, did I hit the target? And two, where did I hit the target? That first question can be surprisingly hard to answer depending on how far away you are. In the past, we've relied on electronic hit indicators to tell us when a target has been struck. Hit indicators are awesome, but they often fall short in one major area, durability. Especially when you're shooting large cartridges with heavy bullets. In particular, the Magneto Speed T1000 mounting strap can actually shatter and fall off if enough force is applied. This becomes a real problem for shooters running ELR cartridges like the 300 Norma Magnum all the way up to 50 BMG. I made it a goal to fix this problem, so I hopped onto CAD and started off with a prototype. Here's the basic issue plaguing hit indicators. Devices like the T1000 are too heavy and have too little Velcro surface area to stay mounted on steel targets, especially under huge impact forces. Even lighter indicators eventually get shaken loose after repeated hits. My first idea was to build a plastic plate with a large surface area that housed four powerful neodymium magnets. I printed the plate and sent it over to Peter Kneipp, a match director for ELR and PRS style matches. He tested it at a recent PRS match and this thing got absolutely hammered. Most shooters were running 6.5 Creedmoor and 308 Winchester, which subjected the prototype to roughly 1,600 foot-pounds of force with every hit. Magnets were literally blowing straight through the 3D printed plastic, but the crazy thing is it stayed attached. This prototype was mounted at 400 yards, so it was taking some serious abuse. For my second attempt, I went with a multi-layer, multi-material approach and reduced the magnets from four to two to cut down the weight. The outer layers were printed in ASA and the inner layer was printed in a rubber-like material called TPU. This worked way better. The new plate took hits from a 6.5 Creedmoor at 100 yards with about 2,200 foot-pounds of force with no visible damage. I wanted to push the limits, so I brought out my 7mm Remington Magnum shooting the 195 grain Burger EOL at 2,850 feet per second, or roughly 3,200 foot-pounds at 100 yards. One. Awesome. Still no visible damage at 3,200 foot-pounds. Now 3,200 foot-pounds is a fairly significant number for a plastic plate to deal with. For example, 3,200 foot-pounds of force is what a 250 grain bullet going 3,000 feet per second will end up being at 600 yards. So on your average day, this plate can take a direct hit from a light ELR cartridge at 600 yards. Pretty impressive. A lot of people doubt that 3D printed plastic can survive any kind of real world application and I think this test proves that wrong. But I wanted to go even further. So I went out again in freezing temperatures to see if the plate would hold up in brittle conditions and it didn't. I ended up cracking the plate just taking it off the steel. At this point it was clear I was running into some material limitations with 3D printed plastic. I'm confident I can make a stronger plastic version with more design work, but right now I wanted to try something way tougher. For my third iteration of this device, I went with the next obvious material, which is aluminum. I recently picked up a desktop CNC machine capable of milling aluminum, the Carvera Air, and this thing is awesome. 
I went straight back to CAD and modeled a design specifically for a quarter inch aluminum plate. And here's what I came up with. I think mounting plates like this are going to become more and more common at long range shooting matches. If you're interested in building the system yourself, I've uploaded a tutorial on how to build the plastic version of the ELR mounting plate. It's plenty strong as long as you don't use it on extremely cold days and the video walks you through the whole process step by step. If you're interested in making your T1000 more durable, hit me up. Either leave a comment below or send me an email. I can either send you a unit or I can show you how to make this unit yourself. I've made two different mounting brackets that bolt onto the plate. One for the T1000 and one for the Caldwell Flashbang. If any of you have questions or comments, uh, leave them below in the comment section. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next one.